Stores, the Yukon women's basketball team is less than two weeks away from the 2022-23 opener and the program has already lost two players to season-ending injuries. Star point guard Paige Buchers tore her ACL in August. Freshman Ice Brady dislocated her patella last week in practice and had surgery this week. Both are out for the entire year as they focus on recovery. It's just one of those unfortunate things that, you just keep seeing weird things that make you shake your head and wonder what's the limit on weird things you can see. UConn coach Gino Orima said Friday afternoon inside the lobby of the Worth Basketball Center. The injuries are just the latest bites from an injury bug that has loomed over the program for the past 12 months. Last season, the program dealt with more injuries and illnesses than perhaps any year in history. 10 of UConn's 12 players missed two games or more due to an injury or illness. Buchers missed 19 games due to a tibial plateau fracture. Azzy Fudd missed 11 games last year with a foot injury. Dorka Yuha suffered a season-ending wrist fracture in the Elite Eight. The trend seems to be carrying over into this season. I think we're getting punished for the 10 to 15 years where nothing happened and it's almost like now it's our turn, Orima said. And again, they're all just freak things that happen that just you can't explain why. Orima said this stretch of bad luck and injuries is the worst he's ever seen at UConn. The program has had season-ending injuries to star players in the late 1990s and early 2000s, but never like this. It's affecting more people. That's the biggest difference, he said. And you could honestly say, and I am sure other teams would be in this situation, that in 97 we were the no. One team in the country by a hundred miles and Shea, Ralph, running to catch a pass and tears her ACL in the first game of the NCAA tournament. One team in the country and Nikesha Sales tears her Achilles on senior night. One team in the country in Svetlana, Abrasimova, does her foot and then Shea does her ACL again in the Big East Championship game. We've dealt with it and everybody has to deal with it and you just gotta get through. How does Orima explain the injuries? Do athletes play so much basketball year-round throughout their teenage years and specialize too early? Does it involve strength and conditioning coaches, athletic trainers, team staff, anyone that has an ounce of interaction with the players? There's not one reason why players keep getting injured, Orima said. It's like, well, you should have done this. No, that's not the cause. Dot dot dot. Well, you should prevent this better, Orima said. There's never been in the history of college basketball by athletic trainers all over the country, strength and conditioning coaches, to do more preventative stuff than has ever been done in the entire time of the history of this game. And so, you look around and everybody's gotta deal with something. So, it's gotta be bigger than that. It's gotta be something that I think we've all been trying to address, is what happens when these kids are in high school and how much they train and overtrain and late of playing other sports. We've all talked about it with doctors and specialists and people who do this stuff, and never in history have this many kids been so sheltered in terms of one sport and that's it, all year round. It's almost like there's no off-season. I don't like it but that's the world that they live in. No one was within three feet of Buchers when she jab-stepped the wrong way and injured her knee last December during a game. Brady was unguarded when she took an awkward step in practice last Friday and dislocated her kneecap. Everybody was just really disappointed for Ice because she had worked really really hard, Orima said. She had made so much progress and fit in so easily into what we were doing offensively, defensively. On Friday, Oregon's Sedona Prince announced she will undergo season-ending surgery on her elbow eight hours before the Ducks exhibition game against Carroll College. You just keep your fingers crossed, Orima said. I think every college coach, every pro coach, you look at how many players are out a month, they're out three months, they're out for the season. And there's a dilemma that you have as a coach and as a strength and conditioning person. If you undertrain then you're risking the chance of an injury. If you overtrain, you're risking the chance of an injury. Finding that sweet spot, I don't think it's scientific. Orima got his first look at the 2022-23 team last Saturday in a closed-door scrimmage against UMass. Yes, the same UMass that Piaf Gabriel transferred to in the spring. While Fudd impressed him with her reps in at point guard, the Hall of Fame coach was disappointed with the team's defense. We stink defensively and it was my worst fear, he said. I knew we would be because we really haven't spent all the time that we need on it. This team is not used to playing together, so you got Dorka out there for long stretches of time with no live, Olivia Nelson Ododa, and you got Caroline, Ducharme, playing more minutes and Lou, Lopez Senecal, who hasn't played with UConn before. So it's a different look and they've meshed really well offensively, but not defensively yet. Orima said defense is the team's priority in this next stretch of practices before next Sunday's exhibition against Cookstown, 1pm at the XL Center.
On Friday, all 12 Huskies were in attendance during practice. Bukers spent time working out on a peloton before practicing free throws with the rest of the team. Brady sat on the sideline with crutches and her leg propped up watching. With only 10 active players and a handful already coming back from last season's injuries, health and safety have become top priorities in this final week of preparation.